To truly understand and harness the power of manifestation through the subconscious mind, it's essential to first understand what the subconscious mind is. As explained by Dr. Joseph Murphy, an esteemed expert in this domain, our mind operates on two levels, the conscious and the subconscious. While the conscious mind controls our day-to-day -day thoughts and actions, the subconscious mind is the creative powerhouse that shapes around 95% of our life experiences. This subconscious realm is a storehouse of beliefs molded from our past experiences, interactions, and environment, which can be either limiting or empowering. The subconscious mind transcends individual boundaries and connects us to the collective subconscious, a part of the grand universal mind. This connection explains phenomena such as telepathy and synchronicity, where thoughts can materialize into reality. Your subconscious mind is akin to an interface to a vast information database, acting as a gateway through which innovative ideas, inspirations, and manifestations flow. As it is directly connected to the infinite, it provides you access to unlimited potential. However, to effectively use this power, it's necessary to let go of restrictive beliefs, as these can act as barriers. The shape of our subconscious mind is determined by what we consciously choose to believe in the present, making it possible to reform these beliefs and create the reality we desire. In the process of manifestation, beliefs are crucial. They construct our reality based on what we have accepted as true about ourselves, others, and the world. The concept of creation is also viewed differently. Instead of creating anew, it's proposed that we are revealing what already exists within us. Like a pre-configured computer simulation, our reality is determined by our choices. To embark on the transformative journey of manifesting through your subconscious mind, it's paramount to understand conscious awareness. This understanding sparks change. Consider this. The external world we perceive isn't randomly manifested but rather reflects our consciousness state. In other words, our inner beliefs and thoughts shape the reality we encounter. Picture looking into a mirror and seeing a disheveled appearance. Instead of blaming the mirror, you understand that it merely reflects what's there. Similarly, your external world reflects your inner beliefs and thoughts. By recognizing this, you accept the significant responsibility of initiating changes in your subconscious mind, knowing that these changes will reflect in your external world. The process of conscious awareness involves non-judgmental observation of your life. You accept that your past experiences have molded your beliefs and, consequently, your current reality. This is like decoding the code of your subconscious beliefs that have been woven into your experiences. As you consciously observe your beliefs and their effects on your life, you start uncovering the root causes of limitations like unworthiness, scarcity, or self-doubt. These beliefs become visible like shadows under the light of your awareness. During this process, there's no space for shame or condemnation. Instead, you accept that these beliefs were formed in the past, which is an illusion. The only real moment is the present, where change begins. Having explored the importance of conscious awareness in manifesting through the subconscious mind, let's delve into the role of repetition in this transformation. Repetition is key to reshaping our beliefs and affecting enduring change. Throughout our early years, we gather beliefs from our life experiences, interactions, and environment. Some of these beliefs act as pillars of strength, while others might hinder our desired reality. However, it's essential to realize that beliefs are not static. They exist primarily in the mind. Change starts with the repetition of empowering beliefs. Repeatedly affirming these beliefs sends a clear and consistent message to our subconscious mind. This message is simple yet profound. This is who I am, and this is the reality I choose to create. Consider someone seeking financial stability who may have subconscious beliefs about scarcity or financial struggles due to past experiences. To create a more abundant reality, they start repeating empowering beliefs like, money flows effortlessly into my life, or, I'm open to new ways of receiving wealth. This repetition is more than just words. It's a conscious act of impressing these beliefs on the subconscious mind. As this practice continues, the subconscious mind starts accepting these beliefs as true, 
leading to a profound shift in one's inner landscape and gradually dismantling barriers to financial abundance. As we repeat empowering beliefs, we can expect profound results. Manifestations might appear as changes in people, new hobbies, or shifts in living circumstances. The power lies in consistently applying the same information from diverse perspectives. Viewing life through the lens of love in all its forms can lead to rapid transformations, whether in relationships, careers, finances, or personal growth. This approach offers a universal key to unlocking your desired reality. Through these auto-suggestions, we essentially say the same thing in different ways, making life effortless as we align our subconscious mind with our conscious desires. The final piece of the puzzle is observation and allowing. When working with the subconscious mind, the keyword is allowing. Attempting to control outcomes can be counterproductive, leads to unnecessary discomfort. Trusting in the superior power of the subconscious mind paves the way for freedom. As we observe without judgment, we trust that the subconscious mind will facilitate the required changes. Intuition becomes our guiding light as we take on the role of the observer. Even when circumstances seem irrational or defy immediate understanding, we stay rooted in the power of the subconscious mind. This journey of self-discovery and manifestation revolves around dissipating undue force and discomfort. It's crucial to comprehend why our emotional distress and overanalyzing stem from certain beliefs. By working with the subconscious mind, we gradually extinguish these